All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a super quick video. I want to just briefly touch on the EIS functionality of your DJI Avada. EIS stands for Electronic Image Stabilization. So basically, there's three types of image stabilization with the Avada. There's off, there's rock steady, and there's horizon leveling. Now, before I take you through what each of those mean, there, there's one thing you need to know, and that is when you've got your goggles on, no matter what EIS setting you have it to, what you see in the goggles is coming straight out of this FPV camera. So if you've got Rocksteady on or Level Horizon, what you're seeing in your goggles isn't gonna be that beautiful, smooth footage or the Level Horizon, it's gonna be raw from your drone. So if your drone's doing these ones, you're gonna see it in your drone. All right, so now straight out of the box, it will come with EIS off. Now about 90% of you guys, you probably wouldn't have it on off, but the rest of you guys that are serious filmmakers, content creators, it's actually good to have it off. The reason is the gyro data is burnt into the file. When you put that file in a post-processing software like GyroFlow, it actually does a better job stabilizing the footage and you've got way more control over it. Now, the thing to keep in mind though, is if you are using GyroFlow, you have to set the field of view from super wide to wide. A lot of times people like that super wide look, flying through things, it looks great, but then when you add it into Gyro Flow, it'll say that it's not compatible. It has to be in that wide view. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the second one is rock steady. Now, out of the box, if you've got no intention of doing a lot of post-processing, you just wanna get the drone up in the air, get some cool shots and throw it up on your social media, then turn Rocksteady on. What it does is it automatically stabilizes your footage live, on the go, from your drone, and into the SD card ready to go. So you'll get that beautifully stabilized footage straight out of your SD card. Now, the third one is Horizon Level. This is something I don't think a lot of people would be using because what it does is it makes the video look like you've shot on a Mavic or a Mini. The horizon stays exactly the same. So when your drone is moving around like that, it's like it's on a gimbal. But you know, why would you, why would you select that? You probably just get your Mavic or Mini up anyway, but you know, who knows? That's what it's for anyway. So we did a little flight around our oval. We did it with the stabilization off with Rocksteady on and also level horizon. So I'll throw it up now with some music over the top and you can kind of get an idea of what these three stabilization modes are with the Avata. 